Hello everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you how to get into crow and side crow. Have two blocks ready and come and meet me on your mat. But first I'm gonna show you crow pose and then I'm gonna show you some ways to get into it. Um, that might be a little bit easier if you're just starting out. So for crow pose, I like to have my heels together, my toes out wide, my hands are planted in front of me. Now, when it comes, when it comes to an arm balance, you don't wanna be coming down. You wanna think about shifting forward and pushing and rising up. So your knees are gonna come to the outsides of your triceps and you can keep the arms bent, begin to shift forward, shift forward, shift forward. and then hug the heels to the bum, push the hands away, push the hands into the mat, I should say. Rise up, hug those heels into the bum, squeeze the abs. That is your crow pose. Now, if fear is something that's holding you back when it comes to crow pose, take a blanket, place it in front of yourself. That way if you fall or if you're afraid of falling, Hopefully the blanket is like a little security, that helps. Again, same thing, plant down the hands, focus on shifting forward and squeezing those heels to your bum. If you're still having some trouble, you might find standing on blocks could be very helpful. So let's try that. You take two blocks, you place them down. Blocks make it easier because it gives you a little more height, making it easier to find that little shelf with your, from your arms. And then again, same thing, look forward, shift forward. You can play with lifting one heel, then the other. Maybe you lift both, push, rise up. Don't, you don't wanna look down. If you look down, you're gonna go down. And then next, let's break down side crow. So we're gonna come into a chair pose. Let's keep our hands at heart center just to make things simple. Feet are at hips width distance. First, we twist, then we hook. So notice how my tricep is all the way up here and then I make this space, I push into the palms. Then I take the hands down. See how my thigh is gonna connect with my other, my right hand. Look forward, shift forward. Notice, see how I made this little shelf? The thigh, this right leg is on both of the forearms. I shift forward and I squeeze the heels into the bum. This is your side crow. You could stay here. Maybe you scissor the legs. You could even take the top leg on top and there you have it. That is your crow and your side crow.